Feels good to be doing cardio in the mornings again. I read this when I was cycling. <laughs> Hard work pays off, but ice cream too. I didn't know that Kevin wrote that. No one else would have wrote that. Sorry. I want to explain this. That was pretty hard. So when we were with Chris Hinshaw the other day, he was talking about how throwing. <laughs> he obviously has dodgy knees, and so throwing only runs once a week. To substitute the run in, he does stand up bike, about bike erg, and I'd never done it before. So we did three minutes normal seated and then one minute standing. It's a lot harder than you think. It's like. Because you're not supporting your pelvis, and obviously your core's not supported, you have to support your whole body. It makes it a lot harder. Chris Hinshaw said at one of his, at one of the competitions that he programmed, in the final, they had the bike erg and everyone knew the workout. And then just before the workout started, all the judges took out the seats. And so they were left with this. And uh, they just had to adapt. But that was actually pretty hard. You just get used to it. Cycling without a seat. Also, if you do this in a partner workout, make sure that the other person, whilst you're resting, grabs the seat and pretends like, have you ever seen that competition? The toy pony. The hobby horses. The hobby horses. Oh, I like the music. Pretend you're on a hobby horse. Puts the other person that's in pain, his mind away from it. Good to start to today. You know, I, do, I like, you guys have probably seen it. Like I've not been 100% me and like, just yesterday I tried to work out and really it was terrible. And this morning I just got up and I said to Jazz, I was like, let's get up early, let's just get in there. I didn't want to, I was sat there going, oh, I don't wanna do it. But then three or four minutes in, once your heart rate's gone up and you're feeling good, just sometimes you don't want to do it, but you get the motivation from doing it. Now we've got a busy day, haven't we Jazz? Yeah. Lots to do. How far is your foot off the pedal when, when you sit on, when I put the seat on its highest? Can you get on the seat at its highest? Can touch the top one. Cycle. <laughs> is this not the sick content that you guys subscribe for? Get it, Jazz. Has the screen even turned on? No. No. <laughs> Protein waffles, coconut yogurt and some freedom spread that has no palm oil, so we saved the orangutans. Oh, it's so tasty. Oh. This. Ooh. There you want to know, what's Jeff doing? <laughs> I'm on the rebound. So tonight, as you're watching this video, it is the announcement of point three. What I thought was pretty cool is the announcement at CrossFit Reykjavik is Frederick Egidius against Bjorn Carl Gunvinson. That's kind of cool, but the cool part is the person that's going to be announcing the workout is not Dave Castro, it's Annie Thorstar. Pretty badass. You know, we all love Castro, really, even though he is a prick. But I think that's why the changes this year are pretty good. Give other people a chance to do it, but I think he still should do 0.5. Dave, if you watch this video, do 0.5. Alright, Jess? Mm -hmm. How to annoy Jasmine. Step one. Just being you just got annoyed. <laughs> what? Is that not exactly what I'm just happened? You're not wasting anyone's time. <laughs> There's a lot of time of watching videos. That's a pretty cool email from YouTube. Never had that email before. We nearly hit two and a half million views last month, team. Wow. In other news, Josh Bridges is on his road to recovery. He picked up the 22 and a half kg dumbbell today. It's a good one. Yep, this is the size of a 22 and a half. Good joke, eh? Hey? So before I explain like the science and stuff, the Chris Hinshaw stuff that I want to tell you from the seminar, which was really freaking cool and like I learned a lot and this thing like really just stuck in my brain, it was epic. Kieran wanted me to buy him a new pair of shoes, right? So I bought him these, these white boards, because they're cool, you can write we don't quit on them and that's all right. And uh, we hid them in his office. So uh, we've, given him a, we've given him a little bit of a challenge and uh, we're going to put a timer on. But 
timer. Oh, no, Here we go. So if he finds them... This is 19.3, is it? If he finds them within two minutes, you can have them for free, Kieran. <laughs> That's how confident you are that you've hit them really, really well. No, not really. Just, uh, it's just <laughs> it's a fun game. Now the team then want to go to the edge of their seats. Oh, he's got his timer. Timer. Now the, the team timer. at the edge of their seats. Wait, start, I'll start from here. Start from, start start from here. Fitness. No, because right. I need to get the code for the office. This is, oh. this is exactly like I'm Supermarket trash Sweep. The office. American audience has never heard of Supermarket Sweep. Supermarket Sweep in the UK is where basically is it they have 60 seconds? All right, you have a, a period of time. Yeah. Where they have a shopping trolley and they can basically go around the store and put whatever in their basket and as long as they get to the checkout by the time's done, everything that's in the basket they get for free. He doesn't have the code to his own office. I do, but I'm very forgetful. Got it. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let's cue the music. <laughs> Why are you looking? Straight the code. Eyes away for the code. Easy. Get the line. Fridge, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not a fridge. Yeah. No, they're sausages. <laughs> oh, What's happening? How long have we got, James? Oh, this is left open. Oh. Hold it in five seconds. Oh, Jesus, that's scary. <laughs> You're getting colder. You were warmer before. <laughs> Hello? You're getting warmer, you're getting warmer. 50 seconds, you're getting warmer. He's getting warmer. Stop, 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 Seconds. Best game ever! <laughs> 20 seconds to spare, we have a winner team. Oh, just to make sure they are official. Good job, it's coach. He's trashed his office, but it, it was a whole way. <laughs> right. We've got every season, there's Halloween, there's Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, here you go, coach, gift from the team to you. Ah, oh, cheers to you. Ah, I think I might cry. Because of, of you guys watching the videos, you've managed to pay for him and his new shoes. Ah, oh. Legends. I love the team. <laughs> what is this, by the way? Creeper, isn't it? He just, he just ran around the office, got this out. Oh, I'll be all right. That's what I look like at the end of the open. Don't tell, don't say to you. I knew they needed a reason for the champagne as well. <laughs> don't say we don't have some top quality content. <laughs> That's really fun. I didn't realise that was going to be as fun as it actually was. Well, let's not let this be a thing, because we'll never end up leaving the house. <laughs> what do you say? We need to go. I've hidden the keys! You've got two minutes, so I'm not going to drive the car. Basically, he's swapping out these shoes that we gave him. Which actually Craig gave me as well, yeah. <laughs> some, some new ones. Me and Craig, exactly the same size foot. These are actually nicer in the heel than the other ones were. They're a lot softer. Look at these people being noisy. Hey, I'm trying to hold a seminar with the team. <laughs> right? This is something where they're going to learn, and you two are interrupting. Look at them. Tweedledee, tweedledumber. <laughs> that dumber and dumber that is. Like... All worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when we were with Chris Hinshaw, he explained about like um, clearing lactate and how it builds up in the bloodstream and how it can affect your performance in other areas, right? So he said the most, the best programmed event at the CrossFit Games that he's ever seen was in 2016 where they did the handstand walk one length of the field. Then they did the sprint. This just looks dodgy. Look at that. Look at him, he's laughing. Is that a kid? Sprint? Yeah, it's a zigzag sprint. And then they did the prowler, like, push and pull. This, this is the event where Matt Fraser was like, what can this man not do? You know where he like took over everyone at the end and like everyone just went mental and then, but when you look at the side, everyone was like, oh, look how fast Heber 
Look, no, look how fast Mars is running next to him and Mars overtook Fraser, right? And everyone was like, whoa, how come he overtook Fraser? That's crazy. Like, he shouldn't do that. This is a sprint event. These are the CrossFit Games. Athletes, like, what's going on? It was a little degrading when, when we watched the video and Marston beat us all with a camera in his hand. Oh, no big deal. It's a wheelhouse workout for you, Mars. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What can this guy do? Matt Fraser is going to win his heat. Basically, the way that he described it was that, which I thought was really interesting, is that you have a balance in your muscles of kind of like you giving it energy. When, when you go to a seminar, you will learn a hell of a lot more than this, and it, he'll do this in a lot more detail, but I just thought this was interesting to share with you guys, is that when you start exercising, you're producing like energy, and from the, you have three energy systems, like your phosphagen system, your anaerobic system, and then you have your aerobic system, and basically, when you're using your anaerobic system, it produces lactate. Lactate has a fine balance. If you're getting rid of it at the same speed as you're producing it, you're fine, you won't burn out. So basically, if you exert the anaerobic system just a little bit too much, if you push a little bit too hard, the byproducts aren't gonna clear as fast. And hence, the muscles that you're using, say in the handstand walk, like they're gonna fill with lactate, and then it's gonna have to go elsewhere in the body to try and clear it. One of the places that it goes is the bloodstream, right, and then it, from here, what he was saying is in the handstand walk, it'll build up in your shoulders and your triceps and stuff because they're small muscles. They can't flush it as well. You just handstand walked 50 foot. Yeah, you've got a little bit of time to recover, but not really that much time to recover. So what happens is the lactate goes into the bloodstream and they try to clear, it tries to clear it in different muscles, so hence the legs. So basically what he was saying was, when it came to the sprint, the reason why they didn't run as quick and the reason why Matt Fraser really dominated is because he had a better kind of threshold is like, because why didn't Carl Sager win? He's an American footballer for his freaking whole career, he did these every day of the week, is because when they started to run, they already had lactate built, built up in their legs, which is pretty interesting. Considering you think like, oh, well, you only use the shoulders, so why is, why is the run being affected? It's the same thing in the class and what we just did on this workout, is it's like, we were doing hang power cleans, the lactic builds up, goes somewhere else, so when you try and do box step ups, your legs are like, oh, my legs are already feeling a bit like jelly and I haven't even done any reps, why is that? So that's why, which is pretty interesting. Results-wise, that's kind of kicking as well. Yeah, so results-wise, so results-wise, it's actually pretty funny. If you look at Matt Fraser, who finished second in the event, and Tia Claire Toomey, who won that event, they're both not sprinters. If you'd have taken both their times for the 2013 dash, which was a little bit longer, I think, but they had to just do the jump, but they had nothing before, Fraser's would have placed him like middle of the pack in like 23rd or something of the men, and Tia's would have placed her in like 30th or something like that, like way down the pack. And it's only just because they did a handstand walk before. Pfft, mental, isn't it? Obviously, go to the aerobic capacity seminar and you'll learn a hell of a lot more and he'll go through this in a lot more detail, but hopefully you can understand why in a workout sometimes you like maybe do just some push-ups and you go to like 100, but then you start to do squats and you're like, oh, why the hell are my legs like feel a bit heavy and achy? That is why. Hey, welcome to the vlog. Hey, Thanks for dropping it. Hey, Thanks for dropping so. it in the box. <laughs> been, a, been a while coming, to be fair. What did, what did the videos do? Um, it inspired me to actually do what I wanted. So for years, I've been managing hospitality, and I went back to uni uh, two years ago. Started doing my degree in sports therapy rehabilitation. So, and then started going back to the gym. Started losing weight because I was a big guy. <laughs> yeah. and now, How much weight have you lost now? Uh, I, I think on my peak, I hit about 22 stone. Wow. So I'm down to like 17, 18 now. But I see. About 10 years ago, I was 15, so I've got a way to go. Oh, wow. So. That's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. Good job, bro. Thank you. Smash it, man. I love meeting the team, and I love hearing the stories of you guys that are just crushing life. And congratulations to uh, one guy out there. Jazz told me yesterday that they did a transformation. What did they do, Jazz? Their box had a 60-day tra transformation challenge, and the prize was to win a holiday in Bali for two. So he watched our Bali videos every day for 40 days and he ended up winning the competition. Losing? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. 
He lost quite a lot of weight though. That's really cool. He lost a load of weight, got way fitter. Uh, what a dude. I can't remember your name, but uh And he won a holiday. Yeah, oh, and you won a holiday. Hey, we're helping team win holidays. There, yeah, the truck. The truck. Oh. My favourite part of this truck, the smoke lights with the neons. Oh. Huh? Good song. Tim Rishi, Hot Hits. Love. I don't know how you say it, I think it's love. Uh, I'm so tired. Team, you know what time it is? You gotta nod the head. Oh yeah, nod it. Here it comes, wait for it. Oh. Ah, it's a good song. I honestly would love a world with Pokemon. You know, like dogs, like dogs are cool. Like I'd love a dog. Like Jazz and I always, we're dreaming about getting a golden retriever and we're gonna get a golden retriever when we stop traveling around as much. But like, I just love a Bulbasaur, you know? Or a little Squirtle, you know? Like me and my Bulbasaur and Squirtle. I can take him to the box, it'd be great. Can you imagine? I don't want Charizard, it's too big. I'm a little Bulbasaur, I'm gonna make him a beast. Yeah, anyway. Friendly. We're friendly. In a dream world. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, this vlog's going to be 14 days late because there's buses. Just, there's buses everywhere. What is everyone even doing? <sighs> Wind is so annoying, isn't it? I can't see it. The hustle launch obviously closed at the start of this week. Everything is now in production. We're just gonna show you guys. We're just coming to check on it and make sure that it's like exactly how it should be. This week is production week. Everything should be produced by the end of the week and then start of next week, everything should start to be sent out. Worldwide delivery is two days. So as soon as it gets sent out, I should be with you within two days. It smells of paint up here. It does. So many boxes. This is absolutely mind blowing. They got three machines on it right now. They're turning on another two. They got two machines drying them. Strongest team on YouTube. Crazy. Every time we do this, it just blows my mind. And jazzes. <laughs> oh. That's the screen for the palm print one. And that's the fade from the blue to the pink. So cool. And then that's the team. That's just a blue and the black, I think. Actually just, I accidentally just airdropped him a photo of me and Chris Hinshaw smiling in a chair. He has no <laughs> clue who Chris Hinshaw is and who I am. Who's this guy and his dad? Yeah. He's, no He's so lost. He's like, who are these people? <laughs> where that came from? I'm going to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> He's so confused. And if I'm ever gonna move on, I'm going to need some whiskey glasses. I hate when this happens. 